When I visited Kashmir two years ago, it changed my life. I fell in love with this beautiful place. The never-ending snow-covered mountains, the always welcoming Kashmiris, made me come back. Twenty eighteen was the first time I touched the snowboard. As you can see, how much I was struggling to get down the slope. This year, I booked my tickets five months in advance, and I was eagerly waiting for January. Srinagar undoubtedly has one of the best flight landing experiences ever. The streets filled with snow. This year was even more beautiful. Irfan took me to the railway station in Srinagar. I never thought Srinagar had one. The journey from airport to Gulmarg is one of my favorite. With six feet of snow on either side of the road, it feels like an absolute fairy tale. This year, I got a new fishtail snowboard from Indigo. Day one of snowboarding. Time to get my snowboarding next bag. Just like every year, I was blessed to have 10 more of my friends on the trip. Let's teach Randeep how to turn on the snowboard. Come on, come on. Day 2. So let's start from the middle of the mountain. So this is phase 1 and phase 1 starts at 3050 meters of altitude.
day three had approximately 20 centimeters of snowfall. So RJ asked me to do some off-beat parts and I would say it was fantastic. of snowboarding, I guess the board has lost a bit of its finish. It's time to go to the Jula shop to get it waxed. Bye, it's gonna action karana bhai. Bekar ho gaya. Bekar ho gaya. Wana wana new. Wana wana new. This was the moment when RJ knew the best up. Just be careful and always have a guide with you. Things can get pretty foggy and you can't see anything more than 2 meters ahead of you.
when you're super tired, this is how you go to the lift from your lunch place. One thing is for sure, Kashmir is the most hospitable people of this planet Earth. Ah, thank you. So with me is Discover Gulmark's founder, Irfan, and uh, I've been coming with him for almost three years. Hi. Everyone should visit here because we have the world-class slopes here, world-class facilities, left of mine. You can see this is the world's highest gondola as well. You can come for the skiing, snowboarding, and all other adventure activities. Do you think everyone can come here? Yeah, everyone can because this, I think, is is for my personal experience concerned one of the cheapest resorts throughout the world if you compare it with the Europe and Alps and all so you can find yourself how cheap the resort is so I recommend I suggest everyone to come and visit Gulmarg and do whatever you want do like skiing snowboarding shall we start okay I'm trying to find a new way where the sun shining down on my face I'm running Okay, sir. I'm running away. What are we doing?
Oh, oh, oh. बोलिए हम कितना चार्ज करते हैं के वन पॉइंट के के टू पॉइंट पे और कितने टूरिस्ट आज आ रहे हैं आजकल पूरा असलकुम मेरा नाम मंजूर अहमद लोन है मैं प्रेसिडेंट हूँ इस स्नोबल एसोसिएशन का ये जो हमारा एसोसिएशन है जहाँ यहाँ बाइक लॉन्च हुए 2013 से टूरिज़म धीरे धीरे बढ़ रहा है यहाँ पे कश्मीर में और हमारे यहाँ पे टूरिज़म टूरिस्ट के लिए जो हमने राइट रखे है के वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट फोर हमने यहाँ पे रखे हैं यहाँ पे इस एरिया में अगर कोई एक घंटे के लिए बाइक लेना चाहता है उसको हम दो हज़ार रुपये चार्ज करते हैं आधा घंटे के लिए कोई उसको हम हज़ार रुपये चार्ज करते हैं और यहाँ पर इस तरह एक सिकिंग भी है जिस तरह सिकिंग पहले था गुलमर्ग सिकी रिजॉर्ट से मशहूर थे अब बाइक भी यहाँ पर एक्टिविटीज हम दिन ब दिन यहाँ पर बढ़ाना चाहते हैं हमें इसमें टूरिज़म का सपोर्ट चाहिए ताकि यहाँ पर हम और कुछ भी करेंगे जिस तरह गवा में वगैरह पैराग्लाइडिंग वगैरह वगैरह बाकी चीज़ भी हम हम उसमें भी इन आगे आगे हम इसमें भी कुछ यहाँ पे करेंगे उसमें हमें गवर्नमेंट का सपोर्ट चाहिए जी अभी मेरे से बात करने आया है शकील मामू जो हमारा स्नोमोबाइल चलाते हैं फर्स्ट क्लास स्नोमोबाइल इन गुलमार्ग अभी उनसे बात करते हैं आप एक दिन में कितने बार चलाते हैं कहाँ कहाँ तक चलाते हैं बताओ पूरा जाना चाहिए मिनिमम तो हम के थ्री हमारा आगे पड़ता है ये के वन है ये हमारा फर्स्ट पॉइंट है यहाँ से आज हो गए थोड़ा अदरवाइज यहाँ से पूरा कश्मीर गुलमर्ग दिखाई देता है तो ये फर्स्ट पॉइंट है आगे सेकेंड और थर्ड है और फोर्थ फोर्थ पॉइंट हमारा यहाँ से राइट साइड से हाफ ऑफ द माउंटेन आता है ठीक है तो पहले पहले जब स्टार्ट हमने किया तब तो हम दिन में कम से कम पच्चीस ट्रिप लगाते थे एक दिन में पच्चीस ट्रिप तीस भी लगाए तो अब टूरिस्ट कम होने की वजह से एक दो I am uh, I am working with government of Andhra Pradesh in Chittoor district as assistant collector and training now. <coughs> This is my first time in Gulmarg. I've done uh, baby slopes in the last four five four five days. This is the first time I came to the phase one, and uh, phase one has been one of the scariest experiences of my life. It took me one one and a half hour to acclimatize to it. Post that I could. Decently do it. Uh, snowboarding 
is probably one of the best adventure activities I have done. Uh, I look forward to coming here every year. Uh, I think everyone should try it once. Be physically fit, <laughs> not just physically fit. You have to be mentally fit also. You have to be <laughs> adventurous enough and courageous enough to do this. Thank you, Discover Gulmarg, for uh, helping me in uh, experiencing this amazing, amazing, amazing place and amazing, amazing activity. Guys, here we have with us Jay Christopher from Australia. My name's Jay um, from Australia. Uh, I've been snowboarding for 23 years um, in that time. I've been chasing snow all around the world. I've been to 11 different countries, all of the best places, Europe, Canada, Switzerland, Japan, America. And yeah, Kashmir is the best. Um, Gulmarg's amazing, beautiful people, beautiful food, amazing mountain. It's no crowd, no stress, no rush. Just you in the mountains. It's pretty much heaven on earth. Uh, it's the best place I've ever been snowboarding in my life. And yeah, I'll, I'll be snowboarding here until I can't pick up a snowboard anymore. <laughs> Really good, and that avalanche danger is real. So you got you got to take things seriously here. You yeah. can't try and be a hero or let your ego guide you. You just got to be safe, know your ability, and uh, make sure that you get to do another run tomorrow. Because if you if you let your ego guide you or you try to be a hero, there's a pretty good chance you might go home in a body bag. So yeah, it's it's a serious place, but it's also extremely peaceful, and uh, my heart feels. Like I'm in the right place. Yeah. Thank you, dear Christopher.